How's it going everybody? So I've got another product review for you. Um, I think I'm going to be the first because I have not found the first video for this particular product. And it is a Vitara refrigerator slash freezer. Um, I literally just got this today. Um, it's still cooling as we speak. Um, went ahead and put some stuff in there because, you know, it's somewhat cool. Obviously, it's going to be cooler than just leaving it out in the open. Um, <clears throat> the particular model I got, I'm pretty sure, is the VSBS 2100EW. Okay? So, uh, we're going to do a little... Uh, reading and diving into this manual here. Um, so bear with me, and I will be right back, because I actually have the PDF version of this, and we can go through it together. So, guys, yes, now we are back, and I have the digital um, user manual here. Like I said, here highlighted, I believe, is the particular model that I have. Um, let me double check my other paperwork here. Yes. Yes, it's that first one. Alright, so let's uh, do a little reading here. I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but um, you can read through the table of contents, but we're just going to go through some of the warnings. Alright, so we got caution. This appliance can be used by children aged from 8 years and above, and persons with reduced physical, sensory, or mental capabilities or lack of experience and knowledge. If they, one word, if they, if they have been given supervision or instruction concerning use of the appliance in a safe way and understand the hazard involved. Children shall not play with the appliance. Cleaning and user maintenance shall not be made by children without supervision. Children aged from 3 to 8 years are allowed to load and unload refrigerating appliances. The refrigerant isobutene R600A is contained within the refrigerant circuit of the appliance, a natural gas with a high level of environment compatibility, which is nevertheless flammable. Okay, yep, so don't really need that. Alright, so warning. Do not use mechanical devices or other means to accelerate defrosting process other than those recommended by the manufacturer. Warning. Do not damage the refrigerant circuit. Warning. Do not use electrical appliance inside the food storage compartments of the appliance unless they are the type of the type recommended by the manufacturer. Warning: This unit is using R600A as the refrigerant and cy cyclo <coughs> as foaming agent. Both of this too kind of material is easy to be burnt, so the abandoned unit should be away from the fire, away from, and cannot be treated with fire. Danger of electric shock, the yellow-green earthly, earthling, <laughs> earthling. <laughs> Greetings, Earthling. The yellow-green Earthling of this appliance must be earthed before operation. Refrigeration, refrigerator discarded after the need for disposal according to local law, local laws, and regulation. Regulation. The refrigerant and insulation blowing gas are flammable. When disposing of the appliance, do so only at an authorized waste dispo disposal center. 
Sorry, I got the hiccups. Do not expose to flame. Warning, when positioning the appliance, ensure the supply cord is not trapped or damaged. Warning, do not locate multiple portable socket outlets or portable power supplies at the rear of the appliance. Eh. Warning, to avu avoid contamination of food, please respect the following instructions. Opening the door for long periods of time can cause a significant increase of the temperature in the compartments of the appliance. Clean regularly surfaces that come in contact with food and accessible drainage systems. Store raw meat and, and fish in suitable containers in the refrigerator so that it is not in contact with, with or drip onto other food. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, all those funny warning stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. Um, yeah, it's a sad looking fridge right there. Now he's angry. He's doing science experiments on his head. He's surprised because there's a candle inside him. He ate a really bad burrito. Hmm. Went from gas to something else. Okay, so uh, we're going to break away from the, um, we're going to break away from the user manual and go take a look at the appliance itself. So, we'll get back to that. Alright, now let's take a look at it. The first thing you'll notice is absolutely silent. No sound. Only the dishwasher. Don't mind the towels. We had a bit of a water problem. So, let's take a look inside. Absolutely silent, and look how much space there is. It's all LED lighting. And, yeah, see, you can see the model right there. A little bit of information there but yeah like we just got it put in and everything so it's still cooling off a lot of space there's the freezer the freezer's gotten pretty cold hmm. still no frozen water yet but getting there and these are touch controls so you can actually hold hold that and it'll lock it so see when you press the buttons it's locked which is fine because that's what we want it to be 39 in the fridge negative 10 in the freezer for optimal ice all right, so, um, yeah, so I kept it kind of brief, I know. Um, it's still new, so there's not a whole lot to talk about. However, um, some pros and cons that I can go ahead and knock off the list while I'm at it, because, you know, even though I just got it put up, just got it plugged in, not even an hour ago, um, I will say this, <clears throat> the, the pros are, it actually starts cooling, like, literally immediately, so when you plug it in, not even five minutes later, you'll already notice that the inside of the fridge is already 
like cold not freezing not like you know but you can tell it's already cold in there compared to a regular refrigerator this one uses an inverter compre compressor you can look it up because i even myself i'm not exactly sure what that means um I'm not sure what an inverter compressor is, honestly. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that that's why that it cools a lot faster. It's a different style compressor compared to normal. Um, another pro is it's absolutely silent. Um, you probably heard that there was no noise. The only noise you could hear was the dishwasher in the background. And that's a big thing, you know, no, I mean, most refrigerators are pretty quiet as they are, but you know, no, you can still hear them. You know, you walk past them and there's the refrigerator humming away. This thing is silent. You open the door, there's no noise. It's just quiet. Um, another pro is it, um, it chimes when you, uh, you know, when you leave the door open for too long. I think it's like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. But it'll start chiming once you've left the door open for X amount of time. You know, in case you forgot to close it or you opened it to grab something out of there and you walked over to the other side of the kitchen, the fridge is going to start chiming at you. Um, so those are the pros. Um... So far, now, it, it's still pretty new, so I, I think so far this is the only con that I have. It does not have an automatic ice maker. Um, for some people, that's a deal breaker. Uh, for me, it wasn't really a deal breaker, even though, you know, we would have loved to have had it, but... Um, we do have a countertop ice maker, and this one does have uh, what they call a manual twist uh, ice maker. Basically, what that means is there's well, you saw it on the door inside the inside the fridge. On the side of that ice tray is a little handle that you'll twist. So when the ice is frozen, you'll twist it out, and it'll fall into the bin below. Um, so essentially, it does have an ice maker, but it's not, like, automatic. So, it's manual. It is what it is. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me. We have ice cube trays. We have that, uh, automatic ice maker that sits on the counter. And we use that pretty much daily anyways, because the other, the other fridge... Okay, the only reason we got a new fridge... Uh, well, I got a new fridge because I saw it, and I was like, hmm, we should get that. Um, the only reason we got it was because this one has more space. It's taller. It's got side-by-side -side doors. We like that style. It's just, we've always liked that style. Um, but yeah, the other one didn't have that much space. It did have an automatic ice maker, but... The problem with that was every time, you know, you'd go get something out of the freezer, it was full. Like, absolutely full. No more room. Um, so that was a downside. Um, anytime you'd add more stuff, a lot of times it would get in the way of the little arm on the ice maker that, you know, clicks up and then clicks down on off. Um, we'd have an issue where something would get stuck on the, under there or in the ice tray and cause it to, um, trying to think, it would cause it to get stuck, you know, and then it wouldn't, it wouldn't make any more ice because it would be off. Um... So that was a downside. 
to the old fridge. And I think it was a Frigidaire or a Kenmore, something like that. Just a literal basic fridge. Fridge on the bottom, freezer on the top. Not a lot of space. Very cheaply made because the freaking shelves broke. So, yeah. So far, I definitely recommend this fridge. Um, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was, uh, I'm renting to own for it. Um, I think it was like 1400 bucks or 1200 bucks. It, f for what it is, it's not that, it wasn't that bad. Um, so, but yeah. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I kind of rambled on. I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day at work and then a long day dealing with this. Um, funny story about what happened. Um, I mentioned the old fridge had an ice maker in it. And of course, to have the ice maker, you have to have a water hookup. Whoever lived here before um, tied into the cold water on the sink and had a separate shutoff. The separate shutoff doesn't work. It does not turn off the water. So, that's an issue. I had to unhook the water because I won't be hooking it up to the new fridge. It doesn't have an ice maker. Um, so what happened was, when I thought the thing was off, it was definitely not off. I pulled the barbed fitting out that I had placed in there to fit it to the original fridge. I pulled it out and water gushed out everywhere. Like, inch of water. And then it wouldn't stop leaking. So, I ended up having to go to the hardware store, Lowe's, to get a, another barbed fitting with some threads on the end where I could put a cap on it with some Teflon tape. And so far, knock on wood, it's staying. No problems. But yeah, that's why the towels were on the floor. I haven't gotten to them yet. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you liked the video, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, definitely give this give this a look. It's it's a pretty nice fridge. I'm not gonna lie. It's super nice. Super sleek. They have it in white and black. So, if either one's your color, go for it. It's a great fridge so far. Um, I'll keep you updated for the future. Y'all take care. Happy belated 4th of July. And uh, be safe.